Natural stone ledger panels are pieces of trimmed natural ledger stone affixed together to form modular walls. Natural stone ledger panels are a beautiful way to add interest and drama to interior or exterior walls. These veneer walls work well as accents in a variety of residential applications and for commercial property applications, including restaurants, office buildings, and retail spaces. Whether professional or adventurous do-it-yourselfer, installing ledger panels is a simple process with the right tools and know-how. Most projects, depending on size, can be completed in just a few days. Natural stone ledger panels are available in two styles, flat and L-shaped. The ledger panels are designed to interlock much like puzzle pieces for quick installation. The L-shaped panels are designed for each outside corner, while the flat panels are for all other areas of the project. The pieces fit together to provide a neat profile. Here's a tip. Measure the area twice, add 10% to the total square footage for waste and cuts. Now we're going to demonstrate how to install ledger panels on an interior wall and an exterior wall. Both interior and exterior applications have similar steps. The defining difference is whether the project has exposed corners or not. Before beginning the installation, assemble and prepare the following materials and equipment. Projects go much more quickly and smoothly when the area and the tools are properly prepped. Step 1. Protect your flooring. If you are installing ledger veneer panels indoors, it is essential that you cover your floors with a drop cloth or heavy-duty construction type paper. Step 2. Prepare the wall. Ledger panel veneers will adhere to cement block walls or a cement board that is properly attached to a wall. For proper adhesion, be sure that the installation surface and the back of the ledger panel are clean, dry, and free of any dust or debris. Ledger panels can be installed over existing masonry block, scratch coat wall, and concrete that are designed for masonry. Use of proper backer board screws is required when backer board is used. Here's a tip. Use of other base materials may require specialized preparation. Step 3. Pull your ledgers out and make sure you have the correct product for your project. Examine and lay out ledger panels on the floor. Laying out the ledger panels on the floor directly in front of the installation wall speeds the process along. Step 4. Create a chalk line. Ledger panels are 6 inches high. To ensure pieces are installed level and true, snap a chalk line 6 inches from the floor. This serves as a guide to help keep panels aligned properly. On the bottom row, shims may be needed to create a level row. It is very important that the bottom row is level. Step 5. Prepare the thin set. Here's a tip. Do not prepare thin set until you are ready to start your project. Make sure you have properly prepared the area, have all tools and equipment necessary, and the chalk lines are visible. Proper mixing of the thin set is essential. Follow manufacturer's guidelines for mixing instructions. The consistency should be firm and not runny, but still easy to spread. Step 6. Install the initial corner piece. If you are installing on an interior wall or fireplace that does not have exposed edges, skip this step and continue to step 7. For all other installations that have exposed edges, choose a lower corner to start. With the masonry trowel, apply one half inch of thin set to the back of the stone ledger panel with the notched side of the trowel. This is called buttering the stone. After installing the corner piece, proceed with flat pieces. Press into place, tap with rubber mallet. Use the level to ensure straight lines are maintained. Step 7. Start installation on the rest of the wall. After installing the corner pieces, proceed with the flat pieces. For straight flat wall installations without corners, start the project by cutting a straight edge on the initial panel. First, butter the back of the ledger. Push firmly into place and tap with rubber mallet. The flat panel should start at the bottom, end to end, completing each row. Remember to follow your chalk line to keep rows level and aligned. Place shims and or spacers as needed. When you get to the end of the row, you may need to cut a piece of stone to fit properly. Step 8. Cutting the stone for irregular gaps. Exact measurements are essential for a finely finished project. Do not assume that all of your cuts will be the same. 
Measure each gap and cut as you go for best results. Start the next row. A professional tip is to flop your panel on the next row. This will assure that seams don't show. Start the next row by installing the corner piece. Push firmly into place and tap with a rubber mallet. After installing the corner piece, proceed with flat pieces. Continue end to end to complete the row. Here's a tip. It is important to only do three feet in height at a time. Allow 24 hours for the thin set to dry and stabilize before proceeding. Your newly installed ledger panels will add an elegant and lasting look. Ledger panels are a luxurious upgrade that will enhance and showcase any interior or exterior project. 